Finally tonight, the COVID pandemic interrupted, complicated or canceled almost everything this year, but we find ways to keep doing. Case in point, a summer music series in the mid coast that's been happening for a quarter century. Those concerts didn't happen this year, but as New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan found, the music still plays on. Even in Round Pond Harbor, it was unusual. In Round Pond Harbor, another one of my very favorite places, somewhere I've been coming since I was a young child. But until now, never to play her cello on a fisherman's float. And it doesn't get much prettier than this, and quintessentially Maine. Wilhelmina Smith, call her Mina, was playing in the harbor to keep her creation alive. 26 years ago, she founded the Salt Bay Chamber Fest, and each summer has brought musicians together to perform for the public. But COVID knocked out the fest this year. You know, I think the challenge this year was to decide what to do, decide how to do it, and really how best to serve our public and our audiences and to, to give something. Something turned out to be Mina herself. Performing on video so people anywhere can appreciate both music and Maine. I think now more than ever, it's, it's important because people are going through difficult times and music is the balm. It's the thing that heals and provides solace and provides joy um, when we don't have it otherwise. Um, so we wanted to, to get that out. The solace, Mina said, came from playing on the rocks at Pemaquid Point. It was amazing. Pemaquid Point to me is one of my favorite places on earth. Even when the waves came a little close for comfort. I did come close to being washed away a couple of times. <laughs> These one woman videos may not be as complete a performance for the audience as a full chamber music concert, but Mina says it's a way to keep the chamber fest going, to combine the beauty of great music with the beauty of Maine's coast, inspiring sights as well as sounds, even when it's played from a float. In Round Pond, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.